Plastering is a fast, simple technique that allows us to fix a variety of defects that arise in the preparation and cutting of frozen section blocks. Please remove the blade before performing any of these maneuvers while the chuck is still in the chuck holder. Your hands will be dangerously close to the blade. When embedding tissue is super flat with a very thin layer of embedding medium on the dispensing slide, there will be slight retraction of medium away from the tissue. If one needs to take a section with minimal trimming, the retraction space must be plastered with medium. If not, when the tissue is cut, the tissue will separate from the medium, making it difficult to get an intact section. This simple maneuver takes only seconds and results in a neatly filled block face. First, place a drop of embedding medium on the chuck face. Next, quickly press the block face to a flat freezing surface, such as the cryosat stage or any other freezing apparatus. Now, after a second, remove the chuck by tapping it with the overchuck freezing block. Here you see the freshly plastered block and now the trimmed block. This next example shows repairing a defect created when removing a staple from a block. In this mock-up I used a very large household staple. First grab hold of the staple with the hemostat or forceps and then turn it on the tip of the staple to pull it out. Now apply a drop of embedding medium to the defect and press one of the overchuck freezing blocks flat up against the defect. Remove the block with a tap or a simple pull, and this shows you the now plastered and repaired block face. The next picture will show the trimmed block face with almost no noticeable defect. This next example shows a similar situation of removing a suture from a block. Use a fine pointed hemostat to grab hold of the suture. Now fill the defect by plastering as we did in the earlier examples. This maneuver will be most important when encountering chromic or proline sutures which will actually tear the section. This next technique is a bit more drastic as evidenced by its name, the gouge. This technique is used when some tissue such as fat or bone is interfering with our ability to get a quality frozen section. It is not uncommon to encounter fat in the center of a lymph node when one is looking for metastatic deposits. One can first try rotating the block. Keep in mind when rotating the block you may have to readjust the XY axis or else you may waste more tissue than you can afford. Another alternative is to remove some of the fat. This can be done using a flat, dull, narrow tipped instrument such as a narrow pointed butter knife or a small spatula. In this example, I've taken a portion of skin and subcutis and embedded it in a circle. Here you can see when I try and section the block, I end up with a hole in the center where the fat was. The fat is much softer than the surrounding frozen tissue, so that it can be selectively scraped away from the block face. The fatty tissue can be retrieved and later examined for permanent section if necessary. The defect we created by removing the tissue can now be repaired using plastering as we did in earlier examples. Here you see the freshly plastered defect. And now the specimen will cut with a much more intact section.